Today on Scroll Broadcast, George Cervantes will give us the scoop on more eye try activities. Then we'll hear from Andy Ordonez, where he will interview more players involved with intramural sports. ISERV hosted a week of service-oriented events, and Victoria Scalic will give us a recap of the opening activities. Hello and welcome to Scroll Broadcast, a BYU-Idaho news show. We are so excited to be your hosts. I'm Bia Matos. And I'm Colin Prisbury. And it looks like another week has come and gone here at BYU-Idaho. Well, not quite a just another week, Colin. That's right, Bia. This week, students and staff alike came together for the purpose of service in this semester's I Serve Week. With today being the epic conclusion with a special devotional featuring guest speakers. And here we have Victoria Scalic giving us that recap of some of the events of this week. Epic run through Victoria. Can't wait to see more of iServe Week. Service is so cool. Sometimes I wish that iServe was every week. I know what you mean, <laughs> but in a way, it actually can. Well, that's true. We can serve every day, even if it's something small. The spirit of community created in iServe can remain with us all semester long. Exactly. And iServe will continue to have events going every day of the week. So check them out. And speaking of community, let's go over to Andy Ordonez to learn more about the sports from this week. To you, Andy. Thanks guys from the studio. The second session of intramural sports here at BYU-Idaho has just started. And we have sports such as Cobrec basketball, which is right behind me, Cobrec futsal, and we have men and women's volleyball. So right behind me, we have women's volleyball who are just playing right now and having a good time. If you want to be able to play with any of these girls, just go ahead, join a team, and just have fun. And here we have Avery. And so Avery, tell me, what have you enjoyed so far with playing girls volleyball? I have loved getting to get to know my teammates and make new friends, um, and I love volleyball, so it combines two of my favorite things, hanging out with friends and 
playing volleyball. So. Perfect. And the most important question of all, are you having fun while you're playing? I'm having so much fun, so much of it. So we're here with Nase. And so Nase, how long have you been participating in rec sports in BYU Idaho? For about, about four years. And? and how has been your experiences participating and playing volleyball and any other sports? Um, I've had a lot of fun. I uh, got to meet a lot of new people, make new friends. Uh, my experience has been overall really good. Do you recommend people who are on the fence to come in and play? What do you say to them? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's a great opportunity to learn a new sport, learn new skills, um, and also create new friendships and relationships. So Perfect. Sweet. Thanks, Nasi. I appreciate it. Thank you. If you're looking to play co-rec basketball, it's really simple. All you have to do is just join a team which consists of five people. And in those five people, you need to have two people of each gender to play at all times. Whether it's you want to have three guys and two girls or two guys and three girls. It's really fun, it's really competitive, and it's just, it's a blast to come and play. All right, so I'm here with Parker. And Parker, I want to ask you guys, what has been the experience of most people when they come and play co-rec basketball? Um, I think everybody enjoys rec basketball. It's really fun to get out with your roommates, your friends, and just to have a good time. And it's something they can do on the, the weekdays during between classes and stuff like that. And I also know that you are the lead official for basketball. So what has your experience been to referee basketball? I love refereeing basketball. I think it's so fun. Um, it's challenging and it's always different, and that's what I love about it. You can always room to grow and, and get better as you go. And here we have Co-Rec Futsal, which is arguably my favorite sport out here. And it consists of having on a team of five, two of each gender. So as you can see behind me, you have two girls and three guys, or you can have three guys and two girls. And as you can see right behind me as well, <laughs> one of my friends is playing. People from all over the world, just as you can see the Brazilians are playing with people that are Americans or from South America, Africa, all over the world. It's just a very inclusive sport. And I'm here with John Garcia, who just finished his futsal game. So John, how long have you been involved in rec sports out here in BYU-Idaho? Um, I've been in rec sports for about three, four years now. And do you recommend people coming out here to play new sports or just playing any sports in general? Yeah, it's always fun. Like, you get to meet new people, you get to have fun with your friends that you do. I mean, sometimes it gets competitive. That's, you know, the sport of it, but it's a fun time. Cool, cool. Well, thank you so much, John. And that's all we have for sports for this week. Like I said, if you're looking to have some fun, grab some friends and come join the action out here. Back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Sandy. There are so many school sports. And I want to try all of them. <sighs> Me too, but you know what's even better? What? <laughs> A good devotional. Oh, yes. And wasn't Sister Wilmore's devotional this week amazing? It sure was. And to give you the full rundown, let's go over to Lauren Parker. Over to you, Lauren. It's Lauren Parker with Devotional Recap. We just finished hearing a wonderful devotional from Candace Wilmore, a BYU-Idaho data analyst. She's also a 13-time Spartan obstacle course completer. That means that she's had some challenges. She's gone through some difficult things, but she shared her beautiful insight and knowledge that when we are faced with those challenges, the best thing that we can do is turn to our Savior, Jesus Christ. If we do this, then we will be able to find joy during those difficult times and endure. Let's hear what other BYU-Idaho students received from this devotional and what kind of insight they got. It's Lauren Parker here with Will. Will, how do you find joy during difficult times and how did the devotional provide some insight on that? Um, I think just reminding us to look towards Christ. Um, keeping Him in our lives and kind of the center pillar, I think, is the main focus. God is better and grander than all of his creations, but the fact that we mean everything to him. I love that. And then one more question. How do you overcome the obstacles of life? Um, kind of like what the devotional said, it mainly depends on what your focus is. When you focus on the joy and the good things that can come from it, looking at your obstacles is more of an opportunity. I find a lot more joy and success in that. All right, Grace, what did you take away from this devotional? You know, I really loved what they were saying about serving the Lord. I've been preparing to go on my mission, and so that really touched my heart when he was saying that serving the Lord is a way to serve others, and you help them improve and be who God wants them to be, and it helps yourself be who God wants you to be as well. Thank you so much. I feel inspired every time I listen to devotional. <laughs> it is pretty cool, huh? Well, I love that the school provides a wide range of opportunities and activities for us. And what could be a more perfect segue than to announcements? <laughs> well, we have got some fun events happening this weekend for you. 
Yeah, like Comic Frenzy happening on Saturday at 7 and 9 p.m. in the Snow Building. That's going to be so funny. Also, Cultural Night is on Saturday from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the Heart Auditorium. Yeah, I heard Cultural Night is so fun. Mm -hmm. They have music, dancing, singing from all over the world. And tickets are only 3 to $5 and are available on the I Belong app. Yeah, and there will also be a center stage concert called The Lamb of God in the I Center at 7.30 on Saturday. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Well, I can't wait to go experience all the fun concerts and events happening this Saturday. Speaking of new things, next we have Cecily Walker with this week's Church and Local News. Take it away, Cecily. Welcome to Church and World News. I'm Cecily Walker here to update you on all the happenings in our world. This past week, the church has been bringing a lot of light to the Philippines in many ways. Elder Anderson took the youth ages 14 through 16 through the almost finished Albang Philippines Temple. Elder and Sister Anderson taught the youth about the importance and sacredness that each room in the temple holds. Later that week, Elder and Sister Anderson visited the girls' home Boys Town Complex and helped distribute school and hygiene kits to the children of the Philippines. On Tuesday, March 5th, the responsibility and ownership for the Kirkland Temple, several historic buildings in Nauvoo, and various manuscripts and artifacts officially transferred from the Community of, the, of Christ to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for agreed upon amount. The Kirtland Temple will remain a historic building. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints plans to reopen it March 25, 2024 for public tours at no charge. Likewise, in Nauvoo, the Smith Family Homestead, the Mansion House, and the Red Vic Store will also reopen on March 25, 2024 for year-round public tours at no charge. In regards to local and world news here in Rexburg, there is a restaurant rush from March 4th to March 9th. There are 25 local restaurants participating in this event. They will be handing out bingo cards to the community members to fill out and receive big prizes. Teenagers are taking over the skincare world and dermatologists are advising against it. Girls from the ages 17, 7 to 13 are clearing store shelves for their skincare products. Many dermatologists are saying how young girls are coming in with bumps, rashes, and irritable skin. The doctors have concluded that it is from the unnecessary use of these products that are meant for older women. That is all for Church and World News. We will see you all next week. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Cecily. But news and events aside, the school's got some amazing activities, too. That's right. There's something for everyone, whether you're into dance, sports, games, activities, or academics and camaraderie. So what kind of activities are you into, Colin? I'm more into games and outdoor stuff. Cool. Well, I'm personally more into kickboxing and jujitsu. jitsu Oh, that's cool. Now let's hear expert testimony from another activity from George. Thank you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Jorge Cervantes and we are here for I Try Again. I am here at the Rock Gym for Indoor Climbing. If you're a person here in Rexburg and you want to try something new, you can try putting on some climbing shoes, harness and transportation. Benefits? It's an easy way to kick back, just relax. It's an easy way to have fun. You also meet some really good people. Um, and I don't have to think about homework while I'm here. I get to just like, be here. I'm Jeremy. Um, I coach the advanced class. I've been working here for like six months. And I've been off climbing for like nine years. It's a good time. It's a uh, good practice for climbing outdoors. It's not as much around here. Um, I'm from Utah and there's so much climbing outside. So next time that you want to try something new, you can always check the iBelong app where actually right there, if you go and register for your climbing tickets, it's going to cost only 10 bucks. So there you go. Back to you guys. Thanks, George. Now that you've heard about exciting stories, events, activities on campus in Rexburg, we at Scroll Broadcast hope you have some fun ideas for this weekend. <laughs> I know that I do. If you want to read more about stories about Rexburg, the school, or other news, please visit the school's website at byuiscroll.org. And remember to also check out the I Belong app for up-to-date campus activities and events. Well, we have run out of time for today. Remember to tune in next time. And watch a new episode every week on Fridays. Where it will be posted to social media. Or you can find our QR code ads around campus. Remember to share it with your friends and family. This has been our show for today. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.